Hello everyone, you're welcome to GBFM for today tutorial and I'm Odurole Mojibola. Today we are going to be learning about leather. Yes, leather, I'm sure you have heard about leather. There's no way you're going to make shoes without making use of leather. And today I am not going to speak in Latin. And what I mean is that I'm going, not going to speak too much grammar. I just want us to be able to identify, you know, and a skin, I mean a skin or hide, you know, I'm sure we have heard about, they say some are skin, some are hide, and some are synthetic leather, some are this one. There are so many types of leather in short. Sometimes they name the leathers and the skin after the kind of pattern they have. If you look at this now, if you look at this now, if you look at this, as I said, you will see that it looks more like a snake, you know, the skin of a snake. You have them in so many patterns. So, as you can see this one now, you hear, who oh, is a snake skin, is a leopard skin. You can, if you see this, look at this one too. Can you see this one too? It's another type of skin so sometimes when you hear people say oh i want a leopard skin i want a tiger skin is sometimes sometimes it's just because of the kind of design that are on it and it does not necessarily mean that it is exactly you know a a, a snake skin some of them are made synthetically it was synthesized it's not as if it's a natural animal you know they have been able to work on and add two or more chemicals to form that particular skin so today i want to just briefly show us as you can look as you can see this this is a little bit thick you can use only this as your insole this is actually a skin a type of skin look at the inner part of it one of those things that you can do when it comes to this is that when you ask them for prices you find out that the prices of skin are always higher than the prices of our synthetic leathers and synthetic leather you hear of patent leather you hear of pu leather you hear of in short a lot of them even suede comes as synthetic suede leathers they come as synthetic leather and not really original hides so i have found out that one thing you have to, you can use to differentiate it as a beginner is the price the truth is that they sell these ones in per square meal a square meter rather they sell them in per square meter some sell them on scale they will tell you one kg is three thousand naira. you will just pick different kind of you know skin different kind of skin i mean really skin you pick them up they weigh it for you and they tell you it's three thousand naira some places they sell them in per square meter some people some places you hear one thousand per square meter and when i say per square meter you will be surprised that it's just a little bit wider than what i am putting is just a little bit wider than this just a little bit wider so that you'll not be wondering uh -uh, why is it so small yes it could be very small and expensive at the same time but one or two things that i just want you to look after when you want to buy look at the back like this one now you can see that the back is smooth you have this one too the back is smooth now if you, you see this one can you see it's looking like as if the other side is sweet so it means if you buy this kind of leather you can use this side you can actually use this side too so when i'm mentioning this one that we are looking at first of all here they are majorly skin they are majorly skin and they are always much more expensive look at this too can you see this you can see this they printed um is it gushy on it it's just a stamp there is a particular stamp they used to create this on our eyes and skin you can use them to make your main upper you can use it for your main design some of them are actually very hard i mean they are very thick rather they are so thick that you just like this one now you can use them as insole you can just use them as insole sometimes they tell you that oh is a um, skin insole that's what they, some of them will call it for you which means you can use them as your foot bed you just cut it out and use as foot bed some people will decide to add ever or macro at the back just to make it a little bit thicker but sometimes when they are very thick you really don't need 
anything at the back if they are really very thick we have them in different forms you can see this one is in weaven form you can see that is is weaving. Can you see the back? It looks like you see the part that they did not weave is smooth. Why decide they weave? You can see it. The all, all so many of these things are actually made with stamp. Some of them are made with stamp. You can see this is actually a kind of skin. In short, you have skin in different colors and in different shade. But I found out that the most popular ones are black. And brown although you can really find so many it depends on where you actually stay that's what will determine what you get yourself exposed to if you need a very soft let a soft skin I mean you can see this one is a skin you can see the other side sometimes you they say this is, is lamp skin that's what they call it is very soft you can see how soft it is you can use this one to wrap in case you want to wrap you just go for a lamp skin they are always very soft and they're a bit cheaper than these other ones yes they are a bit cheaper than these other ones they come in different colors and different shades one of the things you can use to actually know them apart from the price is this side the other side most times looks like suede yes the outer part is always looking like suede that's one thing you can use to identify them aside the thickness sometimes some people will try to use their arm to tear it Yes, some people try to use their hand to tear it. Some people, sometimes you can tear, some, sometimes you may not be able to tear. Please don't go to the market and be tearing so that you not tear. Some people use their teeth so that you not remove your teeth. I wouldn't want your teeth missing. That's a joke, by the way. So you can see this too. I told you we have them in different color. You can see this one is looking like a towel well back. You know, I'm sure some of us have eaten this part of the of our of the intestines and you know some of our uh, what do they call it cows you know and you see this part there's a part like this they say this is part of those in the intestines it's part of the you know internal part of the cow yeah i'm sure you have seen something like this before i'm not saying this is it though. i'm just trying to let us know that sometimes this is how the back look like you can use this to identify a very good skin yes you can use this to identify it apart from this particular part of it or the thickness the truth is that the apart from the price you can use the the other part the wrong side of it to identify whether it's actually a skin or just an ordinary synthetic leather the truth is that so many of these two so many of them are also made so, sometimes you hear who oh, foreign leather you hear foreign skin you hear local skin so many of those especially all these our lamb skin you find that some of them are locally made here they comes in different color like this now they call it wet loose when you want a leather that is shiny like this just tell them you want wet loose like this one now is skin and the other side of it is smooth it's not looking like a too well or like suede as you have in this one and sometimes if you want totally a leather that is suede you want skin rather that is suede some comes like that they are just sweet the entirety the back the wrong side and the right side are actually the same thing for example you can see it here this one now is a skin even when you see the price is always different the prices are always different now i want to show us the other synthetic leather that we have apart from this and you will see some similarities in them now let's look at our general synthetic leather the difference between this synthetic leather and the eyes and skin that i try to or skin that i try to show us initially is also in their price most times these are cheaper than those other ones they are very much cheaper than these other ones and most times they sell this in yard they sell it in half yard they sell it as quarter they even sell them in per square meter as well it depends on what you can afford but you can find them in yards yes i mean in yards you can buy them in yards and considering the other side of it if you look at the other side of it 
of this they are totally different this one's where you get to the market you see them roll it roll it in bundles they roll them in bundles and put them down and you start checking okay i like this color i like this color i like this color most times these ones are rolled in bundles but that other one you see them hang them with, with nail they most times hang them with nail it doesn't really come in bundle most times except you go to a very large market where you can find those ones that are skin in large quantity but if you are looking at it locally you find out that you hardly see this as in the other type i mean the skin in bundles you hardly see them in bundles except you go to a very big market but generally you find that these ones that are synthetic leather you find them in bundles and they sell them in yards it doesn't mean they don't sell or as in skins and hide in yard they do sell them in yard but very much expensive than these ones like this now you can you can find all the songs in the market you can use them as your leather you can use it to wrap you can see it's very soft you can use it to wrap you can see the back of this one too the back is always different that is what i have noticed that's one thing i first of all noticed when i started i started noticing that the back of skin and the back of our synthetic leathers are always different but later i got to know that there's a particular leather they said that one is semi leather that's what they call it let me show you how the back of that one look like do you see that this back actually look like the back of one of those skin <laughs> so when you get to the markets please don't be confused i tell you the price will differentiate it yes just immediately they show you ask them how much is a yard if they don't sell in yard they will tell you they don't sell in yard if they sell if they if they sell in um, yard they will tell you they sell in yard all these ones that they call semi leather they are in yards you can buy them in yards you can buy them in as less than you can buy as small as per square meter yes you can buy as small as that i actually prefer us using this one for a start if you are not sure you can get this one that they call semi leather i find out that they to their strength is always very good they have a good strength and they are very durable that's what i have found out they are very durable and some of our expensive back you know have repair shoe for people you know in the name of you know all these same um, expensive shoes and bag i find out that some of them are made with this kind of leather some of them are made with this kind of leather and some of them are made with those heights of skin that i actually show us initially you have some of the synthetic leather having this kind of back I can recommend this too. I find out that these types too, their strengths, they are really very, very efficient. If you look at the right side of it, many of them are coated. That is why they last. They are coated. So it's not as if when water drops on it, it doesn't sink. It doesn't enter. They are coated. If you look at it, you find that they are, co they are coated. It's like they laminated it. If you look at it, it's like they laminated the surface. That is why they last longer when, they last long rather when you use them. So, and they are not really very expensive, but they are very durable. Now, let me show us something. If you look at this now, I showed us this the other time. Is a kind of skin. This is more expensive than this. And if you look at it, it's like, oh, this is black now, this is the brown. Please don't get stuck in this. Sometimes, if you are not careful, and for the few people I related with, when it talks to, when it comes to people selling materials, so many of them can be trusted. They, this one and this one are totally different. This is not actually um a synthetic um, leather this one is a skin you understand but these ones are synthetic can you see they are synthetic they are cheaper than it but they are very effective i told you when you look at the back it looks like sweet too yes it looks like sweet but they are also very effective this part of it are coated they are most times coated yes sometimes some, they are coated with rubber like a pvc so you find out that when you use them they last very long that is why it's easy sometimes to sell you know your shoes and you see the person say, oh i like that your leather is really very good it's because of the kind of you know coats that is on the surface sometimes you buy some that you find out that when water drop on it they are also synthetic leather when water drop on it it start peeling i will show you an example of that yes 
you find out that some leathers, some some synthetic leather, they act, they are actually they look like this. But if you turn the other side, you find out that the other side looks something looks like this. Many of them, if you use it for your shoe, if you wash them, you find out that it that other side, this particular side, will start peeling. So many a times I don't buy such kind of leather. Any leather, when I see that this the other side is like this. I, and it is plain colors like this. It's not as if they coat the other side. I don't most times buy it because I find that when people use it, sometimes some people like to wash their leather. Some, you'll, be, you'll be wondering, people will buy leather shoes, leather sandals, and they will wash it as if they are washing clothes. So it means you have to actually put those kind of people in mind. You will see that when I, what I bought, can you see the other side of it? It's coated. So when you want to buy any kind of synthetic leather that has this back you have to check this other side and be sure that that side is coated if you don't want to use you know and hide or skin for your shoe now i know some of us have been complaining oh my 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 uh, my sewing machine is not sewing it's not sewing this it's not sewing that i would suggest that you use this kind of needle yes use this kind of of needle can you see it you can see it is dp the root dp5 and the size is 18 110 my normal sewing machine which is this as you can see this is my sewing machine this is my sewing machine and this is what i use for it i decide to change the needle here i change the needle i change it to this dp5 as you can see this is what is on it and this is the pack i think some of them the pack now is inside a nylon not inside this kind of paper pack some of them ask nylon and they wrote violin on it please check what they wrote on it where some they they wrote violin and you would think it's v-i-o-l-i-n and it whereas it is, it is v-i-o-w and so please check it well because I bought that one and I found out that it wasn't working well with my machine. So I would suggest you buy this. See the new nylon. You can see the new nylon. You can see it's violin. If you look at it very well, you see it's V-I-O-L-I-N needles. Yes. So if you cannot find a pack like this one, you can buy this one but just make sure you tell them that you want this particular size their outer carton used to have all this you know description on it so make sure that the one they are giving you has this description on its outer carton so it's it now come in this kind of pack now that is what i use for my machine when i want to sew my leather on it i make use of my oil like you have this like you have this now you can see that i've already stitched this what you do is just make sure that by the time you place it on it apply your oil apply your oil on it raise it up yes and go ahead and sew it you will find out that it will move conveniently well you can decide to put this like this one now my hole you know the stitch length you can put it at my own has six it has eight i don't know the way yours is configured so i sometimes i use eight sometimes i use six depend on the thickness of my leather so if you have this kind of machine you can easily sew on it just make sure you put oil even if it is a white leather or skin or whatever it will definitely go on it my is size 18 some people use size 23 some people use size 24 but if you will have to use size 24 it means you know there is a hole that this needle enters you have to ensure that the hole is widened and it so that it can easily go into it, it does not affect what you are sewing because if it is not widening it may not pass through that particular hole but for me i still use my machine to sew my fabric so i'm i'm very careful about not altering anything on it so the only thing i just did i just change the needle and you just apply your oil 
on the on 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 the skin or on the synthetic leather whichever of them you want to use just apply it on it and you will be surprised the way it will move initially if it is close you saw on your machine you may be finding it difficult but i would suggest you start with just an ordinary leather such as this you can just start with just one ply of leather like this apply the apply it apply the oil on it on the side is going to ask just apply the oil and before you know it, you find it moving on it conveniently and sewing it. With this, I'm sure you have enjoyed today's tutorial. You are free to ask me any question. If you have a question, you can write it in the comment section. I will duly respond to you. Thank you so much for watching today's tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my, subscribe to my channel and press the notification button to receive, you know, the alert each time I upload. See you next time. Bye.